Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are looking at the first learning path, prepare the data. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion on the topic choose between direct query import and dual mode which is part of the section get data from data sources. In the previous part of this video, we had a brief look at this particular diagram and we saw that what are the connectivity modes and what are the table storage modes. And we saw that there are three table storage modes options available inside the Power BI model view, which is import, direct query and dual for queries which are connected in the direct query mode. And if you have a combination of more than one of these, so if you have a few queries which are import, or direct query or dual then that particular data model is called as a composite or mix. So now let's go and have a look at each of these table storage modes and why we connect in one mode and what is the benefit of one mode over the other and vice versa. So for each Power BI model table, so inside the Power BI data model there are tables and each of that model table that comes through the Power Query has a storage mode property. So any table that comes through the Power Query Editor, which has a data source that is defined inside the Power Query Editor has a storage mode property assigned inside, inside the Power BI desktop environment. So what is in fact a table storage mode? It is a table property that determines whether the data is stored in the model or not. So this is the definition of a table storage that is, telling, that is telling us that whether the data in the table is stored as part of the data model or not. Just keep this definition in your mind for, for now and I am going to explain this in more detail. So once we have this table property, there are three types of uh, storage modes. The first one is an import storage mode and remember I said that this is the default storage mode for most of the data sources inside of Power BI. So import storage mode says that the queries retrieve data that's stored or cached inside the data model. So if you are connected to a data source which has been brought in from the Power Query using the import data storage and it has the table storage mode set to import then it says that the queries have the data stored or cached in the model. So the data model which is working behind the scenes which we are not looking but Power BI is actually working on the data model. Remember we, we had a discussion where we said that why we define these relationships because there is a data model there is a data model which is based on the Power BI engine and that engine actually stores or caches the data if the table storage mode is import. So the data is part of the data model. Remember this is how the import storage mode works. Then the other storage mode is the direct query storage mode which says that the queries pass through to the data source. So this is a very important thing to understand that if you have connected to a data source using the direct query connectivity mode and you bring the queries using the Power Query Editor, you load the data inside the Power BI desktop environment, then in fact none of the data of that query of that queries is inside the Power BI data model. The data is inside the data source. So all we have is a snapshot or all we have is the information of the schema of the tables, but the data is no, not a part of the data model. Whereas in import, we have the data also a part of the data model that is being created behind the scenes. So this is a very important distinction that you need to keep in mind. Then the third table storage mode is called as the dual. Here the queries retrieve stored data or pass through to the data source. Power BI determines that the most efficient plan striving to use cached data whenever possible. So if you have the table storage mode set to dual, then it is up to Power BI. You leave it to Power BI to decide whether it has to bring the data from the source and make it a part of the data model or whether it keeps the 
data inside the data source. So once we say that the data is inside the data source and not part of the data model, then it means that once we are building the DAX, uh, DAX uh, formulas and we are building the reports and we have all the time some kind of interaction happening in the visuals, then actually what happens that there are queries which are generated in the background and in case of import mode, those queries get the results from the data model which is stored or cached as part of your Power BI file. Whereas if you have connected in the direct query mode, then all the queries that are generated behind the DAX, then all of that happens inside the data source. So your queries are not going to hit the data model, they are going to hit the data source directly and retrieve the results from the data source. So that is a big difference. And in case of dual, dual, the data model is at the time of running of the query, the Power BI itself decides that, that whether for solving this particular query, whether the data has to be brought into the data model or the query has to be answered using the data directly from the data source. So these are the three table storage modes, which is a very important concept once we are talking about the Power BI data modeling. So here you can see the figure that we have already seen that you get this option of changing the table storage modes, import, direct query and dual. These are the three, uh, three options which are available for the table storage mode. Now let's explore the import data storage mode first. So importing the data means that the data is stored in the Power BI file and gets published along with the Power BI report. So remember I said that if we connect to the data source using the import mode, then the data is part of the data model and the data model represents is represented inside the Power BI desktop file. So I'm going to show you towards the end of this video that if we have a Power BI file, how this Power BI file is loaded into our into the system memory. So once you double click on a Power BI file, how the Power BI file is loaded in the computer's memory. And there you are going to understand what is the data storage mode then. So this is the first and most important property of the import data storage mode. And remember I said that once we publish the Power BI report to Power BI service, then there is a data set which is created. So that particular data set represents your data model. So we are going to explore this part in the last learning path. Then another feature is that once in memory import models can achieve speeds which are very fast and have the very fast query results. So remember the that if you have the data model uh, created with all the tables in the import mode, then obviously the data is available inside the file. So your file has all the data. So whenever the query is going to retrieve the data, it is going to hit the data model and the data model has all the data. So the results are going to be very fast. So that is a very important property of the import models that they achieve the results very fast. Then there is another thing which is that there is no concept of import model being partially loaded in memory. So this is an, again a very important concept that there is no concept that part of the data is loaded in the model and the part of the data is not loaded. So whatever data is there in the data source, all of that data would become a part of the data model. And this is a very important consideration that, that you need to keep in mind. Another very important property is that once the data is brought in using the import mode, then that, that data is compressed and optimized and then stored to the disk by the VertiPak storage engine. So the engine that we are talking about, the, the Power BI engine that is working in the background, it is called as the VertiPak storage engine. And the way it stores the data is not just simply storing it, there is a very complex compression algorithm that is working in the background and it compresses the data and then it optimizes the data and then stores that data. So it's not like you have read the data like a simple database table and all of that is stored, is stored at it as it is. So there is a very complex comp uh, compression algorithm that is working in the background, which is obviously no, not a part of this PL300 exam, but just keep this thing in mind that this is a very optimized process. Then another property is that 
The import storage mode is, a, is the default mode for most data sources like flat files, Excel sheets, web, etc. So we have already talked about it in the previous part that for most CSV files and Excel sheets that we have seen in this um, particular course so far, this is the only option which is available. So it is the default storage mode for most of these data sources. Another very important property, and we are going to have a look at it in a few minutes, is that if you are connected to the data source in direct query mode, then only then you can see the three options. And if you have brought in the data using the direct query storage mode and you decide to change the storage mode of a table from direct query to import, then this is an irreversible operation. So if you change the, the data storage mode to import, then you cannot change it back to direct query. So this is a very important property. And after this property is set, it is it, it can't later be changed to either direct query or, or dual. So this is what I've just explained that if you change the data storage mode of the, or the table storage mode to import, then you cannot revert back or you cannot go back to direct query or dual storage mode. So now let's have a look at the benefits associated with the import data storage mode. So if you have a table connected and brought in the import storage mode, then remember that all Power BI data source types, including databases, files, feeds, web pages, data flows, and more, all the features which are available inside the Power BI environment are available for only the import data storage mode. Right. So if you have connected in the import data storage mode, then all the features, all the features related to the data sources, the uh, the files, the web flows, data, uh, the web pages, all of those are available for the import data storage mode. Also, all the DAX and Power Query functionality, all the functions of DAX and Power, Power Query are available in totality only for the import storage mode. So this is a very important thing. Then an important thing that we are going to look in the next learning path, that is that using DAX, you can create calculated tables. So only the calculated tables can be created using the data which has been brought in and stored using the import data storage mode. So that's another very important benefit. And like I just said on the previous slide that because the data is part of the data model and it is a part of your Power BI desktop file, you get the best query performance because of the caching property of the import data storage mode. So these are some of the very critical benefits that you need to keep in mind while deciding that which data storage mode should be used for which data source. Then there are certain limitations which are also very critical that you should know related to the import data storage mode because I said that the data is part of the data model and which is actually represented by the Power BI desktop file. So there is a size associated of the file. So remember that the data model size cannot exceed the values shown here for the Power BI license. So if you are working with a Power BI Pro license, and we are going to talk about these licenses in the last learning path, then the upper limit for the model size is one GB. And if you are working in a Power BI premium environment with a premium license, then this limit is 10 GB. So this is a very critical limitation that you need to keep in mind. Next, there is also a limitation on the data refresh. So remember that once you have brought in the data using the import data mode, then you also need to refresh your data model. You have to bring in new data. So if the data, new data comes in the data source, then that data needs to be refreshed. So the limit on the refresh inside the pro license is that you can do it eight times per day. And for the premium license is that you can do it at maximum 48 times in 24 hours. So every half an hour, you can go and refresh your data. The third and another very important limitation is that there are certain data sovereignty concerns. So some of the organizations do not want their data to leave their premises. So if you are connecting in the import mode, then data obviously has to leave the data source and become a part of your Power BI desktop file. Some of the organizations, they do not want that to happen. 
they do not want the data to leave their premises and there you cannot use the import mode because obviously the data has to leave the data source and only then it, it is going to become a part of your data file or your Power BI desktop file. So this is another limitation where you can think that, okay, maybe because of this limitation, I cannot go and use the import data storage mode. So now let's have a look at the alternative to the import mode, which is the direct query mode. So remember, we talked about the limitations. And if you feel that the three limitations that we discussed of about the import mode, if any of that limitation is important to you, then obviously you cannot use the import mode and you will have to go from import mode to the direct query mode. Models developed in the direct query mode don't import data. Like I have said that the, the data is not a part of the data model or it is not a part of the Power BI desktop file. The data stays inside the data source and the only information is the, that we have is of the data schema or the metadata which defines the model structure. So we just have the information of the metadata or the schema of the tables once we are connected inside the Power BI environment to the table in the direct query mode. So what are the benefits? So the benefits of a direct query mode is that you have no limit on the model size. So remember we said that there is a limit of 1 GB in the pro license and 10 GB in the premium license. So if the data is not a part of the data model and it is staying inside the data source, then we do not need to worry about the size limitation, which is associated in the import mode. So that is a very important thing. Also, the models don't require data scheduled data refresh. So if you are refreshing your data either manually or through a scheduled refresh, then obviously you are not also worried about the limitation of the refresh. So we had a refresh uh, limit of eight, uh, eight times per day in the pro license and the 48 times per day in the premium license. So now if the data is no longer uh, a part of the data model, then every time you send a query, it is going to hit the source and it is going to bring in the latest data. So there is no refresh requirement. Also, there are certain features like automatic page refresh inside the Power, Power BI and also the Power BI service which can be used to view the reports in real time. So there is a, a functionality associated with the direct query that automatically after every uh, few seconds which you can configure the time, the, the page refreshes. So these are the benefits of using the direct query mode. But there are certain limitations which you also need to keep in mind. And some of these limitations are very important that the first limitation is that Power Query or the M expressions or the DAX formulas can only be functions that can be transposed to native queries understood by the data source. So I'm not going to de deep dive into this particular concept in this video. Just remember that if you are connecting to the data source through the direct query mode and you bring in the data in the table storage mode using direct query, then there could be a few power query and DAX functions that cannot be used. Like we saw in the import mode that you can use any function, but there is a limitation here of using the functions of both power query M language and the DAX language as well. Then you cannot create calculated tables. You cannot uh, use the functions to use calculated tables if the data is connected in the table storage mode direct query. So that is another limitation. And then there are certain AI features associated uh, with the uh, quick insights functionality of Power BI service, which are also not supported in the direct query mode. So in this video, we discussed the basic features of import mode and the, some of the basic features of direct query mode. And we are going to continue this, this discussion in the next part because we still have to explore a few things and the video has already uh, been, it's a long video. So we are going to carry out this discussion in the next part of this video. So stay tuned for the next part and I will see you in that part.